Well, hello, kings and queens. Welcome. Today we are talking love and marriage, Huntsville. Teen Melody is in full effect and in the building. Don't believe me. Go back and watch my videos. I've been saying the same thing for quite some time. The queen has spoken. I have said that Marcel is all the way live with Team Mel. And do you really blame him? Overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I love the efforts of the cast members who were willing to show up and talk about it. It doesn't mean that they had to agree. And as a matter of fact, some of them did not agree. But they did what needed to be done as grown folk, as the old folks say. Grown folk. They showed up and this dinner gave black excellence. Kudos to you, Carlos King. Now, you know, I stay on top of Carlos King. Okay. I love being a small YouTube channel because I'm not in cahoots. (laughs) I am not pressed to interview with nobody. I can sit in my little corner of the world and give my truth, but I have to be fair. If I'm going to give it, I got to give it all the way around. You did a great job with this. Okay. I really like this episode. And I am responsible enough to say this was very palatable to our appetites as viewers. This is what you sold us. This is what we like. Throw a little bit of drama, but let's get back to it. Inspire us. Yes. Empower us. This is great. These are skills coping strategies that a lot of people do not have. We don't give a damn about no flipping over the tables and fights in front of a beauty shop, uh, beauty store. We don't care, care about, uh, fake storylines. Give us strategies of how to cope and navigate through tough and challenging moments. This was beautiful, but of course, listen, we got to get back to how we do in the palace because we're going to bring a little bit of drama and a little bit of read over here, but nothing too offensive. But let me turn y'all on to something. There's a verse that speaks to a wise woman. A wise woman wins over her man without words. And you saw it in real time. <laughs> I'm about, you saw it in real time. And although it ain't her man, Melody Hope won the hell over Marceau. A wise woman wins over a man without words. I don't have time to explain it to you in a spiritual sense. I've been busy all week. Google it for yourself. Learn it. Digest it. Let it marinate. And we're going to talk about it. But before we do, for those of you who are just tuning in, and or if you are new to this channel, welcome. I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television. But most importantly, I hone in on the behavioral and the psychological traits of the Black experience. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Letitia, girl, hear me and hear me good. As a woman, if you are looking to showcase your self-esteem and or your self-confidence, if I were you, no tea, no shade. I'm going to put aside all biases that I have. If I were you, I would never, ever mention Melody's name again. It's starting to make you look pitiful. Your entire existence on this show has everything to do with Melody Holt. From your dialogue, your complaints, your focus, your talk tracks, your storyline, all lines up. It's equivalent to Melody Holt. At this point, outside of season one and season two, you literally bring nothing to the show. Marcel has been carrying you the entire way. Initially, I gave Marcel a hard time for attempting to silence you, take away your voice. But with deep understanding comes wisdom. I now recognize that he was simply attempting to run interference so that you didn't appear nor look like a damn fool. Let me pause on that. Letitia, from the bottom of my heart, from one wife to the other, um, I say this from a sincere place. You've got to stop being obsessed with Melody. 
every time, majority of the time, let me say majority of the time, you have opened your mouth, it's about the hosts. It's about Mel or Tell, Mel and Tell, either Martell or Mel, Mel, and I call them Mel and Tell. We have yet to see you in the role that you brag about most, which is being a housewife. And that's not bad. It really isn't. Because most Black wives are not afforded the honor of not working. Because most Black households require a two-person income. So what we would like to see from you, ma'am, are the things that you talk about most. We would love to see how your house runs with you submitting to your husband, with you making your house a home. We've yet to see that. We've yet to see submission in real time because you disobeyed Marcel when he asked you to step out of the middle. It took a lot of coaching, a lot of prodding, a lot of stimulation and massaging for him to get you to step out of the middle of your mother misbehaving. Okay. And I don't know, maybe I've missed it in previous episodes, but that's what we would like to see from you. The things that you preach about, the things that you place in front of us, the seminars that you teach about how women should be submissive. We would love to see that in real time. You know, it's sad. And what's really disappointing to me, in my opinion, based on my observation, is that none of your friends and or family members seem to have pulled you aside and said, girl, girl, you got to find something else to talk about. Because it's looking like your storyline is Melody Hope. And we can't do that, sis. You know, when your friends care about you, be like, oh, baby, we're not giving her no attention. And y'all know I love Melody, but I'm, I'm, I'm just acting. I'm giving Letitia a scenario of how her friends and family should be showing up. Yeah, girl, so we can't do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Girl, we don't want people to think you hating on her because you've been talking about her since the start of the damn show. And you have. Interesting fact. You want to know something, y'all? But before I, before I go into that, what are your thoughts? Share in the comments. Type, type, type away. Interesting fact. Letitia used to be my favorite. I kid you not, Letitia used to be my favorite. I thought she was the prettiest. I thought she was the most well put together. I really liked her. I thought she was beautiful. I felt like she appeared to have good intentions. And she was the most um, when I most relatable on the show to me. When I thought about what's relatable, what's realistic from a perspective of black excellence. It was her and not because she stayed at home. It was just something about her, okay? But on the flip side, Letitia, you are a devil in disguise because you're also the reason that folks started disliking Marceau. You gave us the narrative that he was your oppressor and we fell for it. Women women all around the world rally to your defense <laughs> and we, we beat up on Marcel. Because you guys throw those but the more we see you, like I think we the more we see you, I am convinced, Letitia, that you are self-absorbed and you benefit in some way from playing the role of a victim. So Letitia, you and your husband are in the car. And you're calling your mother. I have a question for you. You mean to tell me you have no idea what happened? Girl, stop playing in our face. Because one thing we're going to do is black folks have to fight, girl. We're going to get on the phone and be like, yes. What? And I saw when you, did. girl, stop playing with us. But I didn't see. I didn't know. What you were doing is you were being defiant. Your mother is not allowed to, for whatever reason, they placed her in timeout. So you're going to make sure she appears on television one way or the other. I get it. I I know what you're doing. You didn't talk to your mama post-fight? Girl, stop. As close as you and your mama are, you didn't go check on your mother? 
when she fell on that car after trying to swing on Melody, you didn't talk to your mother until a week or two later? Stop playing in our faces. Carlos King, that's where you need to clean up the storyline. Right here and right now on your way to the restaurant, you all of a sudden need a recap from your mama. I couldn't follow Kimmy's conversation in the car with Maurice. I felt like she was being extremely careful and it's no fault of hers. I'm going to share something with y'all. As a content creator, I don't do everything well. And that's one of the areas I tend to be gapped in. I have a hard time reading between the lines. However, I love the fact that Kimmy showed up like a G and assigned responsibility to all parties involved. I have a really hard time reading in between the lines. As you can see, my communication style is pretty direct. Um, not necessarily offensive, but direct. Um, and also I'm, I'm able to depict and read silent behaviors, touches, body language. But when people take the middle of the road in a passive route, that's where I tend to get tripped up. And maybe it's the Scorpio in me, who knows? But uh, that's one of the areas that I'm gapped, and I can honestly own that with all of you that are tuned in. Um, I couldn't follow Kimmy's conversation because she was so politically correct, okay? She did a really good job, though, <laughs> because you're not supposed to be able to follow her. You're not supposed to be offended. So she's really good at that. And it's funny because she gives her history of how her personality used to be very strong, confrontational Black woman. But because of her desires and her career aspirations as a professional, she was able to hone in on that and roll that shit back in. So that's a phenomenal story. We'd like to hear more of that. Okay. Because you taught me something as I'm, as I'm trying to read in between the lines. I'm like, that's brilliant. Okay. That's an area I can stand to improve in. However, um, I appreciate that Kimmy, um, showed up like that. And that's the original reason I feel like that we initially fell in love with her from a viewer's perspective, because she did a really good job of remaining on the right side of things. Kimmy, please continue that. It looks very good on you. Now let's talk about the boys, the boys. I still feel like there's a background arrangement going on with Marcel encouraging Martel to bring Melody back into the group. And the sad thing is, Martel has no idea that he's clickbait, that he's being used as a tool. Everyone stands to benefit financially off of Melody, including Carlos. Without Melody, there is no show. And I wouldn't be surprised that if it's not Marcel pulling the strings, that it's Carlos who's pushing Martel to cozy up to Melody. If Mel gives the buy-in, Carlos and the other men will be successful financially because the women aren't really capitalizing on this show like they could. Stormy has been doing her own thing, but ain't nobody really making momentum and gains like the men, with the exception of Melody. And Mar uh, what's his name? Martel's not doing a great job at all. He's actually suffering. If Mel stays on the show, it minimizes the risk of the show being canceled and or lackluster if it's not canceled. Trust me, there are some meetings and conversations being had to develop a strategy to pull this lady back in. But God said, go. I love Mel and Tell together. When they're on one accord, they are very powerful and graceful, and they are the pillar of united excellence. You know, as I was watching this show, my heart broke for a second. My heart broke. I was like, damn, these people really helped that man destroy his family. Ooh, chow, that's a whole different level of betrayal. So imagine friends like that, which is why I understand Melody's need 
to isolate and separate. Y'all broke that family up. Them people were really on their way to doing something different. But anywho, Melody's a smart woman and God is keeping her. And Marcel, honey, he was smiling like a chess cat. My grandma used to say that. He was smiling like a chess cat. He loved him some male child. He came alive, child, like a teenage boy. <laughs> Good luck, Letitia. So that's the reason. Uh, last week I made that video sharing that I would not be shocked if Martel actually proposed to and or married Sheree. These women are being preyed on and they have no idea with the exception of Melody. And now I'm going to add Kimmy. I think Kimmy knows. I think Kimmy's starting to recognize what's going on. I still believe that Kimmy is Marceau's spiritual covering. I mean, not Mar. I'm sorry, not Marceau. I believe that Kimmy is Maurice's spiritual covering and he is blessed through having her as his wife. Feel free to push back in the comments, but I feel this to be true in my spirit. Martel isn't clever enough, y'all, to know how to come up with an idea to bring the group back together, yet along bringing Melody in. Somebody's feeding him the information on how to stroke a woman's ego, exactly what to say, how to say it, what makes women feel good. And there's only two people clever enough to do that, in my opinion. That would be either Carlos King and or Marceau Scott. Martel isn't... Okay, let me back up. When they shot this scene, Martel was in a very vulnerable position and probably not realizing what was going on because they are scheming in the background and somebody was tugging at his heartstrings. I believe one of the men may be misleading him to believe that by bringing Melody back in, this could possibly open the door for a reconciliation. And we all know that's not true. But Martell cannot see that because when this was filmed, I believe he was in a state of desperation. I can't see Marceau doing this because he's actually attempted to get Martel to take responsibility a few times, and that did not work. And there's only one person left whom I've heard publicly brag about knowing Martel emotionally and has gone as far as claiming to cuss him out when he don't act right. And to me, when I'm like, Kurt, I cuss him out. That sounds like something I would do as a wife when he ain't acting right. Cuss him out or, you know, verbally, like, just correct him. There's only one person I know that has publicly said that. And I ain't saying no names. I believe someone has placed the battery in Martel's back. I believe that it could be allegedly someone who signs his check. Who knows? But I do know desperate people do desperate things. And they're attempting to use Martel and Mel yet again for a come up financially. And I can honestly say I feel comfortable eliminating, eliminating Kimmy Maurice from this equation. I believe, in my opinion, based on my observations, that Marcel and Carlos could possibly be in cahoots to some degree. And then Martel shares that he believes it's imperative that the original six come back together. Oh, I know you do. Because if you don't, you may not have a job, sir, and or an income. Hence the reason Carlos King publicly announced he cannot wait to get his hands on Sheree for love and marriage Huntsville, which will solidify his comeback if Melody decides to leave and or declines to renew her contract. Then Carlos would be able to leech off of Sheree. So um, no, tea, no shade. The other women are not as interesting enough to carry the show, nor do they have the pizzazz. Melody is a household name and Carlos is betting on using Melody and or Sheree to profit his own gain. 
I believe Letitia is committed to wrong. Let me say it again. I believe Letitia is committed to wrong. I've said it before and I stand on it. Wanda has done an excellent job of grooming her to be deceitful and conniving. And here's why I say that. When you teach a child to shoplift at an early age, you're leaving a blueprint of dishonesty, crookedness, and a false sense of reality. If I were Letitia, I would be mortified to have my mother even mixed up in this type of mess where she's talking about somebody's child. But Letitia has no shame, never blinked an eyeball, an eyeball, never even shrugged her shoulders, questioned her mother, which tells me you're committed to do wrong. And it's very concerning considering you've publicly claimed to be a member of Alpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Uh, what is it? <laughs> sorority. <laughs> and also you've publicly claimed to be the head of a multi-million dollar corporation Schultz. Are you not worried about your reputation? Leticia? The way you showed up in this scene was very disgusting. You doubled down on your mother talking about a little girl, a child. Even your husband supported the mother of the child that your mother was talking about. Uh, Hey, listen, your husband started to disassociate himself from you emotionally as you got closer to the restaurant. And you started to push your husband to take a stance. And guess what he told you? I'm going to order my ribs and my wedge salad. Girl, do you not know what time it is? We saw the irritation on your face. You guys, if you're listening, if you follow me from day one, I've said this woman constantly tries to make and or force her husband's hand to choose her or Melody. And every time she does it, he chooses Melody. Watch my videos. Go back. Just binge watch them. Just like you would Netflix. I've called it before. I said Marceau knew Melody would not lay a hand on Miss Wanda. Tisha, I don't know what you and Marceau have gone through. But if you stay, you've got to get healed. Because you are showing up as a woman scorned. And you cannot keep placing yourself in a position to force your husband's hand to go against any woman. Because he's not choosing you. That's all I'm going to say. So as we wrap up, Marceau made an excellent point about Maurice defending his child, Monster, when Tiffany talked about him. And he almost posed a question as if, why do you have a right to defend your child, but Melody doesn't? And do, have, you, have y'all noticed that every time the group gets close to a consensus to walk away in a positive for the well-being of this show, they were close, that Letitia keeps going back to the mess Every time the group recovers and seems to almost like, okay, you know what? Maybe we we can come back together. She interrupts with mess. Tisha's like destiny. Neither of them understands Carlos. As much as you may not like me getting on you, I'm going to keep doing it. Because I, I want to see these people win. Even if it's a new cast. But they have to understand and Carlos, you need to understand your own damn show. Hell, the own, the own, like the goal of the show. Okay. So the well being of the show is the most important thing over the cast members. And your cast members have to understand the assignment when it comes to the well being of the show. Now, let me end on a positive. Damn, Melody and Martell looked great walking in. I am so sorry for you, Melody, that he did what he did and he broke your heart. Martell, I am sorry for you. I really am. You really messed up your family. 
When y'all are good, y'all are good. You cannot touch these people when they're in a good space. They are an undeniable force to be reckoned with. And they took their rightful places at the head of the table. Yes, honey. Martel was a completely different person when with Melody. Did you know how beautifully, or did you notice how beautifully he was able to express himself, command the room, and drive that conversation? It's something about a woman that pours and ignites the spirit of a man, honey. He who finds a wife finds a good thing, and he is blessed. There is something to be said about having a good woman by your side, because Martel Holt Not only does Melody bring out the king in you, (laughs) she brings it out in those around her. Bow down. The queen has spoken.